Hello and welcome along to our virtual art club. This week we're going to be looking at how to create an oil pastel and watercolour resist painting based on the work of Paul Clay and in particular one of his paintings called The Golden Fish or The Goldfish which he created in 1925 in oil paints and watercolours on paper. So for this tutorial you're going to need some paper, preferably heavyweight cartridge because you're going to be using quite watery paint on it so it needs to be able to withstand um, a certain amount of water. So heavyweight cartridge or watercolour paper would probably be even better. Some oil pastels or alternatively you can use wax crayons and some watercolour paint or poster paint that's been diluted. You will also need a soft bristle brush, ideally a nice wide flat brush like the one that you can see in this picture. So to start off with, I want you to very, very lightly sketch out the outline of a big fish that's going to be the centerpiece of your painting. You really need to draw this as light as possible. In fact, you can probably hardly even see the outline on our example here because we've drawn it so lightly. Once you're happy with the size of your fish, you need to take some yellow and orange oil pastels and first of all, go over the outline of the fish. It's really important to push quite hard with the oil pastels to leave enough of a residue on the paper that will act as a resist to the watercolor. If you're using wax crayons, you may find that you have to push a little bit harder than you would do with oil pastels. Once you've done the outline, then you can add in Paul Clay style patterns onto the fish. Now you can look at his painting of the goldfish for inspiration. Um, he did lots of sort of geometric patterns, lots of wavy lines and dots and dashes. So. Just fill in the fish however you want to, but add quite a lot of pattern and detail. So George has used some reds and oranges in the eye of the fish here, in a similar way to Paul Clay's golden fish. Don't forget to add fins and extra details. In fact, this fish looks like he's got a bit of a beard, which I love. So we've got that going on. Once you're happy with the fish, then you need to take some blue oil pastels. We're using three different shades of blue on this example. And in the style of Paul Clay, We've got lots of wiggly wavy lines for the water. We've got lots of plants and seaweed and all sorts of beautiful shapes. You can fill this background however you like. You can look at Paul Clay's goldfish for inspiration, but equally well you can add any other patterns that you feel like adding in. We've used three different shades of blue here, which is going to look really nice when we start to add the wash of water colour over the top. So now it's time for the magical bit, which is to add watercolour washes. So a wash is just a very watery layer of paint. So you need to make sure the paint is diluted enough so that when you paint it on top, the oil pastel or wax crayon will resist and still show through. If the paint is too thick, you can just dab it with a paper towel and then go over it again. George is starting off with some yellows and oranges and reds on the main fish. He's just going to test the colour on a piece of scrap paper and then apply the paint in really broad brush strokes across the fish. 
So something that Paul Clay has done is he's actually layered yellow paint on top of yellow oils. So it's actually quite subtle, but you'll see when we start to add some oranges and reds, you can see more of the pattern coming through. When you finish the fish, you can mix up a color for your background. Again, if you look on the goldfish, Paul Clay's painting of the goldfish, you'll see that it, the goldfish is actually swimming in a very, very dark sea, almost black. So we've mixed some black and blue paint. It's particularly dark around the fish and then it gets slightly lighter as it goes out to the edge of the paper. This is such good fun, this bit, because you see all those beautiful oil pastel patterns showing through as the oil resists the watercolour paint. And there you have your finished piece. If you decide to have a go at this at home, we'd really love to see what you create, so please keep sending your photos in for us to share on Facebook and Instagram.